This is one of the oldest living apple trees in North America. The Drap d'Or de Bretagne, or Golden Cloth of Brittany in French, stands at the far edge of this Verona Island orchard. It's one of a couple dozen wizened apple trees in a grassy field sloping down to the Penobscot River. To apple historian John Bunker, this grove is a treasure trove of living history. A couple years ago, some of Bunker's fellow apple historians sent leaf samples from this tree, along with hundreds of others, to a lab for genetic testing. And we got this email saying, oh my goodness, you have uh, found the only uh, apple of this that we know of in North America. What's left of the tree's trunk is largely hollow, but it's still chugging along. A full crown of light pink flowers indicate a potentially heavy crop of apples. The Drap d'Or is one of a few historic apple trees that are the genetic ancestors of many of the common varieties we eat today. And this Verona Island tree is the only known living specimen in North America. And now it's got a sibling, technically a grafted clone, at Mafka's Heritage Orchard in Unity. Orchard manager CJ Walk demonstrates the grafting process, essentially fusing three twig cuttings from one tree onto the branch of another. He says preserving heirloom trees safeguards agricultural history and genetic traits that could offer keys in adapting to climate change. These varieties have kind of withstood the centuries so far and hoping that there are some resilient characteristics in some of these varieties that might help apple propagation into the future. With proper care, Bunker says the Verona Island tree could still have quite a bit of life left in it. This year, come harvest time, the plan is to bring some of the apples to agricultural fairs, giving the public a chance to step back 200 years in time with a bite of the tree's golden yellow fruit.